Well, let's get you up to date on the race for the White House. For the second straight day, protests have turned violent at Donald Trump events. The presidential candidate was set to speak at the Californian Republican Convention and hundreds of protesters turned down, clashing with police and rushing barriers. Some even blocked, blocked Trump's limo, forcing the billionaire to walk to the venue's back entrance. Trump, of course, took the opportunity to compare himself to immigrants crossing the border. Have a listen. That was not the easiest entrance I've ever made. My wife called. She said, there are helicopters following you, and we did. And then we went under a fence and through a fence. And, oh, boy, I felt like I was crossing the border, actually. You know? It's true. Having a bit of fun with that Donald Trump there. CNN White House producer Kristen Holmes is following this closely. She joins us now from Washington. Uh, these protests are becoming more frequent outside Trump events. If this goes on and Trump gets the nomination, should Republicans be worried? Well, Linda, you're absolutely right. I mean, these large-scale protests outside, uh, protesters interrupting Trump during rallies inside, have become almost commonplace on the campaign trail. And the GOP frontrunner doesn't seem to be shying away from them at a rally in Las Vegas saying that he'd like to punch a man in the face who interrupted him. Uh, also, we've heard him recently saying uh, there's no place more fun than a Trump rally as protesters are getting escorted out. But of course, no party, no political party wants to be associated with violence and with protests. But Trump has said that he can be presidential when he wants to be. So we're going to be keeping an eye out to see if his rhetoric does change, if he does, in fact, get the nomination. That is true. And he has, of course, kept up his attacks on Hillary Clinton, the Democratic frontrunner. She had some strong words for men who bully. Just have a listen. I have a lot of experience dealing with men who sometimes get off the reservation and the way they behave and how they speak. Uh, I'm not going to deal with their temper tantrums or their bullying or their efforts to try to provoke me. He can say whatever he wants to say about me. I could really care less. So, Kristen, what do you think of, of Clinton's strategy of not responding to Trump? Well, even though she wouldn't respond directly to his insults there, uh, they were uh, that was an exclusive interview with Jake Tapper, and he had asked her about what she thought of the nickname Crooked Hillary in uh, particular. But even though she didn't respond to that directly, she did later say that his foreign policy was reckless, loose, and, quote, dangerous, referring to a foreign policy speech that Trump had laid out earlier in the week in Washington, D.C. Now, as for how she's going to continue to react, to insults thrown at her. If anything, you know, we've seen candidate after candidate this cycle change the way that they respond to Donald Trump. You know, we in particular, we had Marco Rubio, who for months ignored insults, who tried not to get involved. Uh, and then he eventually hit back. He went on the offensive, called Trump names before the primary in his home state of Florida. So we'll have to see as this progresses, as we do, you know, if Trump does cinch up the nomination and as does Hillary. Okay, and just uh, finally, looking at Ted Cruz, Carly Fiorina has been announced as his running mate. Can she help him in California? Well, that's definitely the hope. I mean, that is the last stop for Ted Cruz uh, on the on the Trump train, basically. Uh, Trump can only reach that 1237 number in California ahead of the convention, which is in July. So the hope is that in both Indiana and California and the states in between, that Trump, that Cruz can slow down Trump's momentum and that he can have help. That's why he named a running mate so early uh, to help him with those votes. Now, of course, there's also a lot of speculation by political analysts that this had to do with the woman's vote. Uh, the announcement came the day after Trump had said that Hillary Clinton was running using only the woman's card, that she wouldn't have 5% of the vote if she were a man. So, you know, a lot of people speculating that a choice of a woman is going to impact the vote as well. Well, wait and see. Kristen Holmes, great to have you with us. Thanks very much. Thank you.